What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So ticket sale date is coming up really quick. Uh, from what I can recall on the press release, it said August 6th. But if you actually go to the Fathom event site, I do see that it says August 12th. So we'll see what it ends up being August 6th or August 12th. Uh, I know one way or another, when tickets go on sale, a lot of you will go over and buy your tickets. You'll probably inquire to ask me if I've bought mine. Uh, and again, if you're planning to see it on the first night, you'll have a review by me. Hopefully, if it's showing near me, you'll have a review that you can expect to come home and watch from me that same night. Now, the two things I wanted to talk about. One is the runtime that still looks like it is the same as as compared to when I was doing another video last November or not last November, but last year when it was approaching november when we thought that the fourth movie was going to make it to the november date that it had originally scheduled but then of course it got pulled because it wasn't going to be able to make it that runtime at that time seemed to be like it was going to be an hour and 35 minutes for jeepers creepers 4 that's how long it was going to be now going into searching on the amc app and searching other things it looks like that's the same runtime the movie is an hour and 35 minutes so you have enough time in there hopefully to establish some hopefully well-rounded characters not to say that they need to be the best written characters ever but hopefully give us something to you know grow attached to them about uh give us a reason to root for them and you know basically the two i think should be established as the most important obviously so far would be chase and lane the people in their group that they end up with, those are probably going to be throwaway characters, honestly. I'm not saying you won't feel any type of way about those characters due to their performances, maybe. But those do indeed feel like the throwaway characters. Uh, so hopefully Chase and Lane, they have a playful little relationship. Hopefully there's some good chemistry between Imran Adams and uh, Sidney Craven. So you can get a bond associated with them and maybe get your audience to grow invested in them based off of that the same way a lot of you were able to grow invested in justin long and gina phillips because of their amazing chemistry showcased in the first movie even though i know it sometimes i know a lot of people think this they had some very cheesy dialogue to work with and i get it but they still made it work and <laughs> those two had great chemistry so hopefully imran adams and sydney craven can establish that in the fourth movie as well and before I jump back to the runtime, I do want to say this. There is a court update for the fourth movie and this ongoing lawsuit between Myriad Pictures and Infinity Films, Inc. Apparently, there was supposed to be some type of uh, a hearing or something that was supposed to go on on July 27th. That was a few days ago at this point. There hasn't been any updates on that yet from what I saw in the docket entries over on that website, theunicourt.com, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you're someone who is monitoring that site for the updates, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was just thrown in there randomly. The next appearance before I saw this was again supposed to be in September, but it looks like there was supposed to be something that was going to take place this month on July 27th, but there's been no update on it. So I'm like, did it happen? Did someone no show? Uh, so we don't really know what happened on July 27th, but there's still activity with this ongoing lawsuit. It's not just something that's being disregarded just because the movie is coming out. So just to jump back to the runtime, again, the movie is one hour, 35 minutes. That's enough time to hopefully give us something that is at least slightly above average compared to the third movie get of us enough time to grow attached to the two central characters and hopefully give us some fun sequences throughout the movie where we can of course see the creeper come out of the taggart barn see the creeper get his truck back uh see the creeper stalk the horror hound event give us of course some cool shots at the horror hound event we know we have all these people in these different costumes as these different horror icons we've already seen plenty of people like from the behind the scenes images are going to be dressed up as beetlejuice dressed up as pennywise from it which again i think is very funny that they're establishing pennywise who has a similar backstory to the creeper as fictional in this universe almost a way to say i would imagine is pennywise in this universe based off of the myth of the creeper did did this universe's stephen king uh, get the inspiration from pennywise from stories of the creeper that he's heard about throughout the years i would i would i would love to see something like that established uh, just like to be something meta in a way but again with the runtime like an hour and 35 minutes something very similar to the original movie and you do have enough time to work with there to give you something fun to play with not saying again this movie is going to be overly great the movie might actually end up being something that's too long for a lot of you if you end up coming out of the movie 
hating how long it was because of how progressively worse it got or a lot of you could come out of the movie again wishing it was longer if you have fun with it honestly again i do have to just say i am not necessarily overly excited for the movie i'm just anticipated to see what this final product looks like i am mostly anticipated to see what ja Rule benjamin is able to do as the creeper in the role i'm excited to see what imran adams can bring to the table i am indeed excited to see what sydney craven can bring to the table since she looks like she's going to be our main focus final girl going into this movie i'm also interested to see how they incorporate this cult scenario if it even ends up being in the final product or if it got cut i'm interested to see what role d wallace will end up playing i know some people have even stated to me and i've done videos on it that it looks like d wallace might be part of that cult in one of the images that was surfacing online that i've already done a video on anyway so we'll see what everyone's role will be we'll see what we can get accomplished in this hour and 35 minutes you know it's not something that's overly long it's not something i would say is too short either uh i would say it's a just the right amount for a movie like this for a movie like this when it's supposed to be starting up a new trilogy and hopefully this whole escape room concept that they're playing with can be done in a way that lives up to the expectation that many of you have doesn't really matter how excited i am i do still hope a lot of you will get some fun out of this movie and i hope you enjoy it for what it is uh, i have no doubts that maybe there's some aspects of this movie that i will enjoy i'm just still thinking to myself okay it's not going to be on the level of the first two movies so don't go in there with that expectation and maybe you'll come out having a little bit more fun with the movie than you expect because with the third one the quality there was so low i just hope this movie can't can't get any lower again i'm not on board the look but i am excited to see how ja Rule benjamin makes this character very menacing and what everyone else can bring to the table as far as their performances and i want to see how these characters are written and if this movie somehow ends up being what i will say my third favorite in the series but let me know what you guys think about the runtime down in the comment section below again it's a one it's a one hour and 35 minute film supposedly still if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to limit any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video